So welcome back to Harry Potter. Let's not die here. No! Well, that was a bit embarrassing, wasn't it? Anyway, oops. Oops. Don't die, Potter. The fate of the world depends on your life. Let's see? Oh, there we go. Mm hmm. I wondered whether I'd be meeting you here, Potter. I suppose you were expecting someone else. Well, it's me, scared, stuttering Professor Quirrell. You're far too inquisitive to remain among the living. Slipendo! 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 Curses, Potter! You will not succeed again! Well, I missed the vinyl card, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Ah, the stone. The stone to rule all stones. He has the stone. Give me the stone. No. Let me speak to him face to face. Master, you're, you're not strong enough. I have strength enough for this. I will kill you. You can't escape me. Maybe I can cast the
Well, that sucked. Using the mirror, he has a lot of HP. Didn't think he would have that much, but still. Wow. He has the stone. Give me the stone. Let me speak to him face to face. Master, you're, you're not strong enough. I have strength enough for this. Goodbye, Voldemort. For now. Well, worked. We took him down. Oh, and he shows up right the mom moment we do that. Dumbledore smiled. What happened down in the dungeons between yourself and Professor Quirrell is a complete secret, he said. So naturally, the whole school knows. The stone had been destroyed, but Harry remained fearful that its loss would not prevent Lord Voldemort's return. Dumbledore nodded, sharing his concern. Nevertheless, Harry, if our battles do no more than slow Voldemort's return, with luck he may never regain his power at all. Harry made his way down to the end of the year feast alone that night. The Great Hall was decked out in green and silver to celebrate Slytherin winning the House Cup. When Harry entered, there was a sudden hush. He took a seat between Ron and Hermione, trying to ignore the stares of the other students. The House Cup, announced Dumbledore, is awarded to the team with the most house points. At the moment, that would seem to be Slytherin. 
storm of cheering and stamping broke out from the Slytherin table. However, continued Dumbledore, in recognition of Mr. Harry Potter's pure nerve and outstanding courage, I award Gryffindor 60 points. Harry's table erupted with cheers and applause. The additional point had won the House Cup for Gryffindor. It was the best evening of Harry's life. Better than winning at Quidditch or Christmas or knocking out mountain trolls. He would never, ever forget tonight. And then there's that prank. Oops. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, thankfully. Well, that did it. Uh, sadly, I didn't do it. Anyway, that's Harry Potter, the PC game. Probably gonna play the PS2 version of it. Which is kind of based on the Chamber of Secrets PS2 game, but still. I played the PS1. You know, gonna get an emulator. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this playthrough. Uh, it was shorter than I remembered it being, but then again, when I was a kid... I used to spend so much time just exploring every single nook and cranny, testing what worked, what didn't work. Now, I'm, you know, I play much faster than I used to. Obviously, still a fairly enjoyable game, one that holds up, really. It holds up fairly well, despite the bugs, glitches and all that, it's expected, it's quite over a decade and a half old as a game, still it holds up. Fairly well, I just downloaded this thing and installed it and bam, worked, no problem. So yeah, that's all. I, I did have to start it from desktop to get 1080p videos, but beyond that, worked just fine. So, Costine, signing out. Expand some more Harry Potter. I'm probably gonna play all of them, all of the good games, that is. Might try the fourth one, not gonna play the sixth or seventh ones, though. No.